Hello teachers, learners, and parents. Sir Jeff po at your service. Alam nyo ba na meron tayong website na tinatawag na DepEd Commons? Ang DepEd Commons ay binuo upang gawing accessible ang pagtuturo at pag-aaral dito sa ating bansa gamit lamang ang inyong mga smart devices gaya ng cellphones, tablets, at computers. Dito ay maaari nating ma-access ang iba't ibang learning materials mula sa Department of Education. Meron itong mga interactive materials, electronic self-learning modules, at instructional video lessons mula sa DepEd TV na tiyak na makatutulong sa pag-aaral ng mga mag-aaral galing ka man sa public o private school. Walang problema! Dahil welcome ang lahat dito. Para ito sa mga guro, magulang at mga mag-aaral mula sa kinder hanggang grade 12, alternative learning system o ALS, at pati na rin ang special education. At huwag kang mag-alala dahil kahit walang load ay maaari mong ma-access ang mga learning materials. Tama! Libre ito! Ang kailangan mo lamang gawin ay i-on ang iyong data at buksan lamang ang iyong browser at i-type ang commons.deped.gov.ph Alam na ba ng iyong mga kasamahang guro o mag-aral ang tungkol sa DepEd Commons? I-share mo na ang video na ito upang matuto rin sila kung paano gagamitin ang DepEd Commons sa mabilis at napakadaling paraan. Muli! Ito po si Sir Jeff at kita-kits po tayo sa DepEd Commons. Paalam! Magandang araw, Sir Wilbur po at your service. Narito ang itulay upang gabayan ka sa inyong pag-aaral upang lubos na maunawaan ang iba't ibang paksa o subject. Ang itulay ay isang free online tutorial class na pinangungunahan ng ICTS Educational Technology Unit sa pumumuno ni Undersecretary Alain Del B. Pasqua. Ang programang ito ay hindi lamang para sa mga bata, kundi ito rin ay magsisilbing gabay sa mga magulang at mga guro kung paano nila ituturo o gagabayan sa bawat asignatura ang kanilang mga anak o mga estudyante. Sa kasalukuyan, ang self-learning module mula sa regyon ng Calabarzon at kilala sa tawag na pivot ang ginagamit sa ating itulay online class. Kaya ano pang hinihintay ninyo? Ihanda na ang inyong mga ballpen o lapis, papel o kwaderno at samahan kaming itulay ang pagkatuto para sa bawat batang Pilipino. Sama-sama tayong magtutulungan para malampasan ang mga hamon sa panahong ito. Halina't matuto kasama ang inyong online tutor sa oras na ito. Okay, hayan. Good afternoon, students, teachers, parents. Kahit sino pa dyan, good afternoon. Once again, welcome to our Itulay online tutorial. Hello, hello po sa lahat. Hatid sa inyo ng Department of Education EdTech Unit. Uh, magandang hapon, isang, map isang mapagpalaya at matiwasay na panibagong linggo na naman po tayo para tayo matuto at mag-aral ng Science 7. Okay? Magpapakilala muna ako sa aking sarili. Yan. Hello, hello. Uh, by the way, I am your tutor Rogar. Yan. Um, I am from the Division of Davao City. Hello, hello sa mga taga-Davao dyan. Hi. I'm from Francisco Bangoy National High School. Hello, hello. Magandang hapon sa inyo, lahat ng mga kaguro at saka mga sudyante. Okay, so madami-dami din ang mga nagka-comments. Hello po, magandang tanghali. Um, sige, simulan na natin. Yun. Um, this, our topic is all about grade 7 science and it's a quarter 3, module 2, and this is for our week 3. And we will talk about motion, graph, and diagram. Ayan. Sino nga ba ang nakuha na ng module 2 for quarter 3? Nakuha na po ba? Ayan. So, don't forget to 
grab your pen, your notebook, and your self-learning module para masabayan nyo ako sa ating Ito Lai tutorial. Hello, hello po. Okay. Yan. So our, um, our competency is all about create and interpret visual representation of the motion of objects such as tape charge, charts, and motion graphs. Yan. So we will going to create and interpret visual representation. So dahan-dahanin lang po natin ito kasi medyo ito ang isa sa mga least learned competencies ng grade 7. Kasi kailangan natin itong mapag-aralan ng mabuti. Okay? Ayun. Ayan. So we have two objectives for today. Number one is we have to create a visual representation of the motion of an object and interpret the motion of an object as shown in graphs and diagrams. Parang nabubulol ako sa graphs. Ayun, siguro sa bago kong eyeglass. <laughs> Hindi, um, gumagamit talaga ako ng eyeglass ngayon kasi parang masakit na yung mata ko. I think it's because of the radiation. Kaya in order for me to be protected with my eyes, I need to wear my uh, my eyeglass. So according to Sir Mark, hello, hello, watching from Tugigaraw. Wow! All the way from Tugigaraw. Hello, Sir Mark Isabelo Cabalzac Taginod. Hello, hello po. And to Sir Luke Manosa. Hello din po. Okay, so ang tanong, are you ready? I think we are all ready. But before that, Let's have our simple recap. Okay. So, yun. So, looking back, directions. Study the picture and identify the motion illustrated and choose your answer from the given options. Okay. Yun. Number one, this is the picture. Okay. Wait, parang nalulobat na siya. Ayun. What is your answer? Is it linear motion, curvilinear motion, or circular rotational motion? What's your answer? Ayun. According to Sir Sunny Mariano, it's linear motion. Let's take a look. Okay, good. It's linear motion. Okay, another. Number two. What kind of motion is this? Mm -hmm. Is it linear motion, curvilinear motion, circular motion, or rotational motion? What's the answer? Okay. It is... I know. What's the answer for that? It's, it is... Let's check. It is curvilinear motion. Ayun. Galing. Next. Number three. So, tatlo lang to. What kind of motion does the picture show? Linear motion. Two, curvy, curvilinear motion. Three, circular rotational motion. Uh-huh. Okay, according to Sir Raul Villanueva, it is circular or rotational motion. Ayun. So it's easy to identify because of the picture. Very good. So we are all set. Now at this portion, we are, we are going to talk about the graphing motion. Okay? So what is this graphing motion all about? Let's see. Okay. Are you familiar with this? Graphs? Yan. Okay. Diba? Very familiar kayo niyan. Okay. So, let's define what is graphs. Or what are the graphs? Graphs are very useful means of presenting information and making it, making it easily understood. Understood, rather. It demonstrates trends, pattern, and relationship between sets of data. People find it easy to understand information through the use of graphs or charts or graphs or charts are the different types. 
pie charts, pictograms, organizational charts, flow charts, cosmographs, bar and line graphs. So to dig deeper, let's define each sample. Types of graphs. This is a pie graph. Yan. Pie graph show values of variables and it is basically circle divided into segments to show proportion. Okay, next. We have pictographs or pictograms. They show data using pictures as a symbol. So for example, this is a food pyramid. Right? Another. Okay, what do you think of this graph. What kind of graph is this? What type? This is? Okay. And that is our organizational chart. This show the overall structure of a workforce of a company. Okay. Next. This one. What kind of graph? is this or chart okay this is a bar graph this show the comparison of data using rectangular bar okay and the last one of which ito dito tayo magfocus the distance distance time graph sorry okay this is used to display the comparison between two variables which are plotted on the horizontal X and vertical Y axis of a grid. It uses line to connect individual data points. The most popular types of graphs because they are simple to create and easy to understand. So I would like to reiterate that this line graph, tayo, dito tayo magfo-focus. Okay? Sige. To show the relationship between the distance and time, speed and velocity and time. What has stated earlier, bar graph and line graph are graphs that uses X and Y axis to interpret the relationship of the data. Bar graph with its X and Y axis. Next, the horizontal axis is called the x-axis. The x-axis usually represents measures of time and the independent variable is plotted along the, this axis. The vertical axis is called y-axis. The y-axis usually represents percentage or measures of quantity and dependent variable is plotted in this axis. The x and y-axis or cross or meet intersect a point which is called the origin where the coordinates are zero zero Yun. so to make it more um to emphasize the x and y axis ito ang ginawa ko we make a table so under x axis is horizontal axis and it represents measures of time and it is independent variable is plotted in this axis However, in y-axis naman, it's a vertical axis. Represents percentage or measures quantity. Dependent variable is plotted in this axis. What is independent and dependent variables? Anong pagkakaiba nila? So if we say independent variable, it is a variable that stands alone and isn't changed by the other variables you are trying to measure. And if we say dependent variable, it's uh, the dependent variable is the outcome that you measure. Okay? So let's try, uh, let's uh, visualize the X and Y. Okay. Yan. X axis is yung pahiga. Okay? Um, Dadahan-dahanin natin to kasi this is one of the least learned competencies. Kailangan mag malaman talaga ito ng mga grade 7 students. Pag sinasabi namang y-axis, yun yung pa, yung patayo. Okay? So, x-axis is on the x, in it is horizontal, while in y-axis, that is the vertical. 
Okay. Sikit pa. Yun. Yan. Okay. Let's have the example. Okay. So, si x-axis is the red. Ito. Yung red na naka, nasa baba, yan ang x-axis. And then, for y-axis, that is the blue. Yung may bilog na kulay blue, yun ang y-axis. At yung green naman, which is the 0, 0, is the origin. Okay? At yung, yung parang linya na yan, yan ang graph. Okay? Yan ay graph or line graph. Yan. According to ni Sir Sony, Sunny Mariano, it's a line graph. Yes. Thank you, sir. Okay, next. Ngayon, let's meet graphing motion. Okay, may iba't ibang um, ways to interpret the different graphing motion when it comes to distance to time and speed and time relationship. Okay, isa-isahin natin. Yan. Let's talk about the distance-time graph relationship. Okay? Where the distance is plotted in the y-axis and the x is plotted in the x-axis. Okay? Kita nyo? Time is plotted on the x-axis. The further to the right on the x-axis, on the axis, the longer the time from the start. While in distance, is plotted on the y-axis. Okay, the higher up the graph, the further from the start. Okay, this is one way of des describing motion is by plotting distance against time in a Cartesian plane. Like in your mathematics class, this presentation may you make use of x and y axis. X and y axis. So, if the object is at rest, okay, and if it is at rest, an object is not moving. When a, when a horizontal line is shown up or shown on a distance time graph. In this case, time is increasing to the right, but the distance remains the same. The object is not moving, hence the object is at rest. Okay? So, kahit na tumataas na yung oras, ang distance niya, ayun pa rin, nandun pa rin ang object. Kaya, yan ang kanyang graph. The graph is not moving or at rest. Okay, next is this, object moving at constant speed. An object is moving at a constant speed when the distance covered increasingly or increases constantly with time. Constant speed is shown by straight line on a graph on the graph. Okay, so as you can see, the distance is ano, moving at a constant speed. Ayun. Okay, next. Suppose we have two moving objects. Both of the lines in the graph shows that each object moves the same distance but the steeper dashed line got there before the other one. So the steeper dashed line indicates that the object has moved a greater distance Yun. at a given time. In other words, it has higher speed than the object, which is represented by the solid line. So both lines are straight, so both speeds are constant. Next. This one, if this is the, the graph, what is the meaning? Okay, the line on this graph is curving upwards. So this shows an increase in speed since the line is getting steeper. In other words, the object is accelerating. Okay, you want. Okay, how about the speed or velocity and time graph relationship. Okay. This is another type of motion graph is the velocity time graph. The velocity of the object is plotted against time. 
although it looks much like distance time graphs, the slope of the graph describes the acceleration of the object. Okay. So, parang same-same lang din siya ng distance time, pero ang, ang dinidescribe lang nito is the speed and the velocity. Okay? Pero meron pa rin time. Di ba? Um, habang lesser yung time na, na time travel, meaning mabilis yung takbo ng, ng sasakyan or any object. Okay. Sige. Yun. Um, moving, object moving at constant speed. So, nakikita nyo, the figure shows an object at a constant speed. A straight horizontal line means that speed is constant and it's not changing over time. Yun. A straight line in this case does not mean that the object is at rest. Remember, this is a velocity and time graph relationship. So meaning, it is not at rest, but it changes. The speed is con constant, but it's not changing over time. Okay, next, this one, the object is accelerating or speeding up. The object, the moving object is said to be accelerating when its speed is increasing as shown in the graph. So, You've seen um, speed in y-axis and time is in x-axis. So nakita nyo na it is accelerating or speeding up from the what? From the origin, which is the zero zero that you can able to identify. Okay, next. While here, this is kabaliktaran. Object is decelerating or slowing down. Or sinasabi nating decreasing speed. Okay. This shows that the moving object is decreasing its speed or slowing down. Thus, the moving object is decelerating. Yun. So you have to be familiarized with the, with the, with the illustrations according to its relationship, whether it's distance and time graph or speed, velocity, and time graph. Okay, later, we will going to identify um, the motion in terms of the, what we call this, gagamit tayo ng ticker tape, okay? That is, um, what we call this, a device that could be able to know kung gaano kabilis yung gamit o hindi. Okay. Yun. So yun na nga. Use of diagram in describing motion. Yun. Okay. Another method of describing motion is through the use of diagrams. A ticker tape diagram is an example of motion diagram. This is sometimes called as dot diagram which makes use of stationary ticker that marks the tape of regular time intervals. A moving object drags a tape past the ticker and the trail of marks is left on the tape. For example, or for an object moving with uniform velocity, the marks are spaced uniformly on the tape. Okay, so yun. That diagram reveals if the object is moving with a constant velocity of accelerating. A changing distance between dots indicates a changing velocity and thus accelerating. A constant distance between dots represents a constant velocity and therefore no acceleration. A dot diagrams for objects moving with a constant velocity and with an accelerated motion are shown below. Okay. So, as you can see, ang yung dots niya, tinatawag siyang constant speed if pantay-pantay yung mga dots. Okay? That the ticker tape produces. Sinasabi naman nating accelerating if from little space 
to a bigger space or larger space or spaces. And that is now accelerating. Pero pag sinang lots of acceleration, um, nakikita nyo sa larawan na mas mataas na yung kanyang ano, mas malaki yung spaces in between. So that is lots of acceleration. Okay? Um, I have not here a ticker tape sample. Maybe um, pag normal classes na, you could able to to have ticker tape with your teachers or di kaya you could have um, a alternative way of making ticker tape. Yan. Hello, hello sa mga teachers dyan na gumagamit ng ticker tape habang nagtuturo nung normal pa yung lesson or nung wala pang pandemic. Gumagamit po ba kayo ng ticker tape? Mag-comment naman po kayo. Okay, kasi mas maganda pong gamitin yung ticker tape at malalaman po na mga sadyante kung gaano ba kabilis, kahina, or pantay-pantay lang yung, yung speed ng isang object. Di ba nga po? Okay. Yun. Sige. Ito, let's have an example. So, ginawa ko lang to. The trail of dots is a representation of the object's motion. The distance between the dots represents the speed of the object at a certain time interval. Oo nga po, di ba? Um, ito yung bilog-bilog na ito. Okay? This is uh, produced by a ticker tape. So, the trail shows... The distance between the dots represents the speed of the object. So ngayon, sa nakikita nyo sa, sa, ano, sa picture, ano ang, ano nyo, ano ang masasabi nyo? Uh, Pantay-pantay lang ba? May acceleration bang nagaganap o wala? Or constant speed lang po ba ang nakikita nyo? Okay? Sige, don't, um, don't be shy. Comment for your thoughts about this, ano, this diagram. Okay? Share, share lang po. Yan. Let's proceed. Now, let's observe the two diagrams. Yan. Okay? According, balik lang muna natin. According to Manosa, hello, sir. Um, it's a constant speed. Okay? Yan. Tama. Constant speed kasi walang pagbabago in between its spaces. Gumagamit din po ba kayo ng ano sir, loop ng ticker tape to measure the speed of a certain object? Yan, sabi din ni Sir Gerald Dalisay Socorro from Francisco Bangoy National High School, constant speed po, tutor. Okay, very good. Sabi din ni Ma'am Margaret Cagas Dakana, it's constant speed. Ayan. Okay. Ayan, sabi kasi ni um sa nasabi ni Sir Sani Mariano na it's constant speed kasi pantay-pantay po ang kanilang distance. Okay. Yan. Okay. Hi Sir, uh, si Luke Manosa ay isang student pala. Hello Luke, bilang estudyante hindi pa siya gumagamit ng ticker tape. Ayan, pero sige lang. Next time, pag magkaroon na ng ano ng face-to-face -face class, magiging masaya na tayo at gagamit na tayo ng ticker tape. Ayan. So, don't worry. Marami tayo dyan. O, oh, di ba? O, oh, di ba? Sige. Simulan na natin ang ating um, activity. Let's observe the two diagrams. Ayan. That diagram A and that diagram B. What can you say about the dot diagram A? Anyone? Okay, don't um, don't be shy. Comment down. What are your thoughts about this diagram A? Okay. Uh huh. Hello, hello. Um. Hello, everyone. Sige. Yun. Ano kaya? Okay. At large distance, 
Okay? Si diagram A, a large distance between the dots means the object was moving fast during a time interval. Okay? Pag sinasabi natin, okay, let's talk about this. Ha? A large distance between the dots means the object was moving fast during a time interval. So therefore, pag mas malaki yung mga um, distances in between the dots, it means yung object na yun ay mabilis ang kanyang pagtakbo during the time interval. Okay. Yun. Hello, hello po, Ma'am Sandra Porzuelo Ribato. Sabi niya, equal distances. Okay. Sir Sunny Mariano, the diagram was have a far distance. Okay. Yan. And Ma'am Jelly May Bakiran, watching from Bakero Integrated School. Hello po, Ma'am. Okay. Yan. Okay, let's... How about the dot diagram B? What can you say? So kung large distance or according to Sunny Mariano, it's a far distance, this diagram B shows yan, small distance between the dots. It means the object was moving slow during a time in interval or time travel. Okay. So, it implicates, pero napapansin nyo ba? Diba? Napapansin nyo, parang pantay-pantay lang din ang diagram A and B. Diba? When it comes to their speed, I mean their distance. The distance is equal and it means they have the constant speed but there's no acceleration. Okay. According to student Luke Manosa, um, diagram B, mahina po ang pagtakbo. Very good, Luke. Um, Sir Sunny Mariano, the diagram of small distances. Okay, correct. But nakikita nyo na sa diagram A and diagram B has equal distance. It means they have a constant speed and therefore... There's no acceleration on it. Yun. Hindi nag-accelerate. Diagram A and B. Another. Okay, this one. Anyone would like to observe and to say something of this, ano, of this diagram produced by a ticker tape? What can you say about this? Is the speed of an object increasing or decreasing? Anyone? Okay, while waiting for your answer, I would like to shout out Ma'am Catrice Manlapas watching from Santa Peregrina High School. Hello po. Yun. Shout out din po kay Ansis Maduro from Bakiro Integrated School. Okay, I think may nagsagot na. Yan. According to student Luke Manosa, it's accelerating. According to Ma'am Sandra Porzuelo Rebato, it's increasing speed. Jermari Abuman Castor, increasing. Sunny Mariano, increasing. Okay. So, the speed is increasing. Wow! Congratulations! Ang galing. The speed of the object is increasing. Because the distance between the dots are getting larger. Diba? From large at naging larger siya as time goes by. So yun ay increasing speed. So if increasing speed siya, ano ang ibig sabihin? The object is, start with letter A. The object is, Accelerating. Yun. Yan. Hello, hello. Uh, before we proceed to another diagram, I would like to say hello to Mom K. Hello, Ate K. Increasing according to her. Hello from Petas and Desert Process. Hello, hello, hello. 
Okay, very good, Jermarie and Sandra. It's accelerating. Good. Hello, kay Christine Evangelista watching from Bakero Integrated School. Wow, ang daming nanunood sa Bakero Interna Integrated School. Hello, hello po sa inyo. Kawai kawai. Ayun. Okay, next, let's observe another diagram. Yan. Is the speed of an object increasing or decreasing? What can you say? So while waiting for your answers, I would like to greet Ma'am Nora Alfonso Pangan. Good afternoon po. Okay. Ma'am Andrea Ju Juana Pilon. Good afternoon then. So what can you say about this picture? Is it increasing or decreasing? Produces by a ticker tape. Yun. According to Germany, it is decreasing. Student look Manosa, it's decelerating. Wow. Sunny Mariano, decreasing. Andrea Joanna Pilon, it's de decreasing. Maria Fejaneo Araneta, good afternoon. Okay. The answer for this interpretation, the speed is decreasing. The speed of the object is decreasing because the distance between the dot is getting smaller. So habang patagal ng patagal, what happened to the dots? It's getting, um, you know, um, masyado silang close to each other. Ganon. So therefore, it is decreasing. So I think yung sasakyan is papark na. Kaya nag-decrease na siya ng speed. Pag sinasabing decreasing, kabalik tara ng acceleration, it is, according to student Luke Manosa, the speed is decelerating. Thank you so much for your answers. Very good. Now, let's proceed to our activity time. Yan. So, Jose owns a new car. Analyze the three traces of Jose's adventure as shown below or in the next page. Assume Jose is traveling from left to right. Describe his car's motion characteristics during each section of the diagram. Are you ready? Okay, I think we are all ready. Students, grade 7 learners, teachers, parents, guardians, ready na tayo. Okay, Jose owns a new car. Analyze the three traces of Jose's adventure as shown below. Assume, assume Jose is traveling from left to right. Describe his car's motion characteristics during each, each section of the diagram. Okay, so ito yung kanyang ano, uh, motion. A, B, at saka C. So, what happens to the car speed in section A? Okay, huwag po kayong mahiyang magsagot. Walang ano, um, wala pong problema kung mali or tama. Uh, pero mas maganda yung tama, di ba? Okay, sige. What is your answer for letter A? What happens to the car speed in section A? Uh-huh. The car speed is decreasing. Yan, tama si Ma'am Dayan Adukal. Thank you po. And then for letter B, infer the car's motion at section B. The car speed is very slow. Yun. How about on the letter C, the car speed is increasing. Yan, tama na naman si Andrea Joanna Pilon. Okay. Student Luke Manosa, the answer for letter A is decreasing because pag tinitingnan mo, habang tumatagal ay lumiliit ang kanyang spaces. Yun. Sige. Let's have another, another picture. This one. Describe the car's motion for sections A and B. For A, what is the answer? Tingnan natin. 
Okay, wow. So, Sanda Porzuelo Rebato answered A, constant speed. Okay, correct. The car has a constant speed. And for letter B, the car speed is decreasing. Ayun, habang tumatagal. Okay. Thank you. Yan. Okay. So I think that's, we're almost there, getting there. Would like to, to thank you for your listening, for your very energetic and very cooperative talk um, about this, what we call the graph and the motion. Thank you so much. And God bless us all. Um, shout out lang natin ating mga kaibigan dyan sa Francisco Bangoy National High School at uh, saka ating mga kaibigan sa iba't ibang bahagi ng mundo. Maraming salamat. Maraming salamat sa inyong pagsubaybay sa Itulay Online Tutorial. Okay. Up next is our science grade 8 tutor Z. Thank you so much. Um, uh, for comments, suggestions, email us at edtech at deped.gov.ph. Maraming salamat and God bless us always. Lolo, okay, while waiting for the time, hello. Um, thank you so much for your answer, your active answers. Um, student Luke Manosa, hello, hello. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Ma'am Sandra Parzuelo Rebato. Um, Sunny Mariano, Ma'am Miriam Ayop, maraming salamat. Ma'am Katris Manlapas, thank you so much and God bless us always. Okay. Sigurado ako na marami ka na namang natutuhan sa ating Itulay Tutorial Session ngayong araw. Tandaan, ito ay hindi lamang para sa ating mga mag-aaral, kundi pati rin sa ating mga minamahal na guro at mga magulang na kaagapay natin para maituloy ang pagkatuto sa kabila ng nararanasang pandemya. Patuloy ding sumubaybay sa DepEd TV para sa mga araling ginawang video episodes. Mapapanood ito mula lunes hanggang sabado, alas 7 ng umaga hanggang alas 7 ng gabi sa inyong mga telebisyon. Abangan bukas mula alauna ng tanghali ang iba pang aralin sa ating Itulay Free Online Tutorial Session sa English. I-like and subscribe at manatiling nakasubaybay sa ating Itulay Tutorial Session sa DepEd EdTech Unit FB page at Educational Technology Unit channel sa YouTube at sa DepEd Tayo at DepEd Philippines Social Media Accounts. Paalam!